Ramona Jenkins, R-A-M-O-N-A, J-E-N-K-I-N-S. Our daughter has PTS and amnesia, PTSD and amnesia. Uh, it's very complicated. She's in therapy and she's improving. Powell Gardens has been and continues to be a very important part of her therapy and healing. Trying to find help if you're not a veteran <clears throat> or a rape victim with PTSD is very difficult. Powell Gardens has been a bright spot in her life. It's always there. It's always safe. It's beautiful. It's pleasant. It's always there waiting for her. We would often go to the gardens after therapy where she would have relived seeing her own blood and guts and bits of bone all over the walls. The gardens are always soothing and calming and relaxing, refreshing. There are lots of benches where she could rest and regain her stamina after relearning to walk. It has also been helpful to me as a 24-7 caregiver. Powell Gardens has not been aware of the important role it has played in her life for the past five years. We never told anyone, and you would never have known it to see her. Powell Gardens has helped Gwendolyn <clears throat> in four major ways. Number one, it is in the country. Even city gardens and parks are in the city with all the disturbing sights and sounds and smells. Number two, it's a bright spot in her new memory bank. Half of her life was wiped. She's been able to think about the beautiful gardens even when she can't sleep because of nightmares and excruciating pain and bedridden. The gardens are different while comfortingly similar every time you go new memories for her. Number three, <clears throat> it is kind to her senses, all of which have been way off the charts. Number four, it's been an inspiration. She can now garden on our deck. She loves to compare her plants and trees with those of the garden. Paul Gardens cannot possibly pick up and move to another piece of land, whereas farmers can always rent land. My dad and brothers have rented land and been renters uh, and rented out. This group could rent land for their feedlot at a safe distance from the gardens. They should rent enough land for healthy cows so that we can have healthy meat to eat. And they should not be underhanded by having 6,999 cows, one fewer than needed for regulation. When I was a child, we drove past a feedlot every time we went to church. The smell and the noise overwhelmed everything else for a long way off. If Powell Gardens smelled like a feedlot, Gwendolyn would not be able to go. If Powell Gardens was loud with unhappy cattle noises, she would not be able to go. Excessive manure would seep into the land and the water and ruin everything there. To sum it up, the smell of that many cattle would destroy the relaxation of the gardens. The sounds of that many cattle would destroy the peace of the gardens. And the manure of that many cattle would destroy the beauty of the gardens. I'm asking you to please preserve the integrity of the gardens for all, including Gwendolyn and others like her. Thank you very much. Thank you.